Hello, Commander. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's slime time. It's that time again. It's time for your evening sliming. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to chat. I'm gonna try something a little uh, little new and start a little early today. Start a little early today. What's good, Mark Slams? How's it going? It's Thomas Robinson again, painting a Hydra Raven and a death, doing them over multiple days. Nice, nice, nice. I will be back. We'll be back on Hobby Sunday painting again. I've got some mercenary mechs that I've been uh, experimenting with and our problem child. Oh God, let me tell you about our problem child. Hello, Mr. Caligori. Hello, mutant head crab. Did someone say mercenary? Yes, we are determining the ancient backstory, the true lore, the true lore of Otto Uchiyumi today. What is his true backstory? And we are letting the dice gods decide. Hello, Mr. Overt Vision. Thank you for coming to stop by and saying hello. Hello, Gotten Giz. First one in chat. Hello, hello. Uh, the first half is D Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. The first half of Genghis. So I suppose I'm supposed to call you Genghis? Okay. Hello, Mr. Dwarf Chucker. Welcome to chat. Hello, Danny Boy. Hello, Bill Nye again, my dude. Bill Nye and the bounty guy. Argyle, Argyle, hola mis amigos, no las pantalos, donde es biblioteca? Um, BMS111, hello, hello, hello Mark Slams, hello Kyberberry, hello Mutant Head Crab. Hello everybody, I'll make a little dice pyramid to, to bless my rolls. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, El Gato es muy grande. The cat is very good. <laughs> Yes, I too have taken uh, the required two years of Spanish language. Um, if you have seen the uh, one semester of Spanish Spanish love song, I quite enjoy that video. Uh, it was played at my uh, in my class uh, as I, as I think it, it was played in Mary Spanish 101 classes. Yes. The black wash really made the Hydra scales pop out. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, actually, uh, speaking of black washes, I've been experimenting a little bit with um, the army painter stuff. Now, the army painter stuff is quite interesting. You can actually use it like an ink and a glaze and the regular army painter speed paint. So to me, it's like, why do I even need these inks? Like some some the, the watered down army painter stuff actually behaves better. Uh than some of the inks I have, some of the Citadel inks. Pretty crazy stuff, but I'll probably show you on Sunday, tomorrow, when we have our normal painting stream, painting and hangout stream. What is on the docket now? Oh, yes, hope you guys enjoyed the Black Knight video. And uh, the next one will be either Alpha Strike or I think uh, another mech. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm wor slowly working my way through the Alpha Strike video. It's still got a bit left of the... Oh, it's it's kind of a bigger one, right? It's like a 15-minute uh, video. Probably going to be 15 to 20 minutes. Probably won't hit 20 minutes, but yeah. Anyway, um, and then what else? Um, I'm working on a new type of video. Actually, two new types of videos. Um, one I can't talk about, and the other one is going to be a painting video. It's going to be showing off our um, our, our painting uh, you know, things. We're going to paint something on stream, and then we're going to cut it into a video was the idea. Double the excitement. Yes, double the excitement. I think, I think, is it two or maybe three? I think it was three ideas. One really, one really crazy big one that might take a while to pull off. But, um, yeah, some, some new stuff. I want to change it up. want to change it up. We're still doing the original programming. And then, you know, um, I want to do uh, the stuff. And then we're getting pretty close. Actually, we're getting pretty close to the um, heavy mech tier list. Yeah. Only a couple mechs to go, and then we're going to be we're going to be on to the heavy mech tier list. I'm super excited for that. Um, and then we'll be able to do some, yeah, some, actually just a whole bunch of content. Just just a lists of content. Lists of content. Lists of ideas that I just need to get out on to the HPG network. Oh, yes. Um, and also, I'd like to announce that we are going to be having a Discord. Uh, we will be having a Discord. It's not built yet, but I will be working on building it out probably uh, next week. 
And then hopefully by next week, we'll have a Discord because I know that YouTube isn't always the best at giving those um, giving those timely alerts, you know, and I want everyone to be able to enjoy my content. So we'll be making a Discord. We'll be cutting it down, you know, because uh, uh, I don't want to I don't want to mess around with uh, I don't want to mess around with Discord too much. I want to spend my time making videos, making videos. I want to make videos. Um, anyway, 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 let me show you what I set up here. And it is this one. Boop. So we have this. Let me get out. Let me scooch out of the way for us. And go over here. Oh, I can be a little bigger, actually. Be a little bigger. That looks good. So hello. So we have, if you can see, we have a dice cam. Hello. Look. Look. And it's not the blue glove anymore. It's the branded red uh, orange gloves. And so we have dice. We can roll the dice. And then we have our book. Let me show you our books here. Um, we have Battletech Classic. Uh, the Battletech Classic RPG. I bought the PDF. Uh, uh, when did I buy it? This morning? Today? And then we also have the Classic Battletech Field Manuals Mercenaries. This one has an interesting uh, alternate life paths. So you can actually have some mercenary uh, life paths. I want to play with a little bit with that. That seems cool. And we also have the rats tables um, for you know for when we eventually roll some mechs up, we can determine what mech we have with a roll of a D one thousand. How cool is that? And then uh, we also have Mercs 30, 30, uh, 3035, and then we have the original A Time of War book. Now, when I was buying the original Time of War book. Um, that's a different cover than my hard copy. Oh yeah, this is a uh, this is like there's two all, two covers with this one, and then there's two covers with this one. I think there's a more anime looking cover um, on the newer one. But when I was looking through this one, this one didn't have like a rolly thing. It didn't have like a um, it didn't have a randomizer, so we couldn't like actually play. It's just kind of like fill in the blank, which is eh, it's okay, but it's not it's not awesome, you know. I really want to uh, I really want to play with uh, the random the randomness the randomness. I know that there are Argyle, Argyle says there are no there are lots of di Battletech discords, but it's nice to have a chat spot for this channel. I think so too, but my Discord is probably not gonna have any chat features. It's probably just gonna have alerts because I just don't want to. You know, I don't want to deal with the weird, the weirdness and the admin and all that. It's just blah, 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 blah. uh, is the classic Battletech cover mech an executioner? I don't know actually. Is it an executioner? I have no idea what mech that is. It's got like some kind of tiger or moon thing, which I don't uh, don't know the crest. The character creation on a time of war is time consuming. Yeah, I was just looking through it and it's like, uh, this isn't as fun as the the BattleTech RPG where you can roll stuff, you know? Yeah. So, um, today we're gonna be rolling up Auto Uchi Umi, and then we're gonna be um, and then if we have enough time, we're gonna roll up the Commander. And I kind of want to put you in the the, uh, the hot seat for uh, at least the commander stuff and maybe a couple of the uh, auto Uchiyumi stuff. Um, just because, yeah, it's more fun that way if, if we build a, build a character like that. And then on the next, uh, <clears throat> on the next, um, on the next uh, stream, we're going to be building out our mercenary company. So see, there's rules for uh, creating a mercenary unit. And then you roll, and then you can generate mechs, and then you can buy them, and you can set your home system and all that. It'd be cool. It is. And if you get a bad roll, you completely ruin your character. <laughs> well, we will risk everything today. We will risk everything. Uh, but there is, I believe, a way. Oh, no. Why is the table of. Okay. Um. There is, I believe, a way to uh, get rerolls if you do uh, if you do the you uh, if you do uh, fate. I think it's called or edge. I think it is edge. Um, if you use edge, you get a, like a reroll or something like that. I was reading in there, so we'll probably do it like that. Um, there are a couple things that I want for sure, but then you know, there's a couple other ones that eh, could go either way with. I don't know. We could see what the dice gods have in store. I rolled one of my characters, uh, and the other I made just what I wanted. The one I rolled for actual is actually sup uh, superior, believe it or not. Oh. In the revised rules of Atal, 
there's a refined rule to speed things up. Oh, okay. Look, it's not unlucky Luke's fault he had end up with a uh he ended up with a horrific neuro neuro helmet accident. The classic RPG would be better. Yeah, I think so. So let's start from the beginning here of character creation. So we we start out with choosing where we want uh to 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 be born in. Where we want to be born in. And for that, I'm pretty sure I just want to pick for this one. I want to pick uh the Draconis Combine. Because uh, you know, I like the Draconis Combine. I'm a, I'm a weeb. I like anime. So let's read the Draconis Combine. The full scale uh interstellar military operation was launched in 2303 and it eventually led to the formation of the Draconis Combine in 2319. Unlike other Intersphere nations, which were formed through the union of already established alliances of planets, the Chikonis Combine owed its birth to one world and the indomitable will of one man, Shiro Kurita. Oh. Though sh through Shiro's political wrangling when it suited him, he constructed the Combine mainly by the sword. Raised in a strict adherence of the uh, ja ancient Japanese code of Bushido, Shiro spread his philosophy as he expanded his empire. Today, seven centuries after its foundation, the Draconis Combine bears a striking resemblance to Japan of the Shogun era, where daimyos, uh, lords, rule their worlds and military districts through their samurai. Uh, mostly mech warriors enforce their word as law. From highest to lowest, all act for the greater glory of the Draconis Combine and its ruling house Kurita. With an eye toward keeping its people under strict control, house Kurita has enforced a rigid social hierarchy. Nobility, warriors, middle class, workers, and unproductives. Because its rulers put so much emphasis on controlling and channeling the lives of combine citizens, the realm suffers from a deplorable lack of formal education, except in the military, which boasts some of the finest schools in the inner sphere. The vast majority of co combine citizens are illiterate. A positive side of this deprivation, however, is the emergence of a rich oral tradition filled with lore that spans centuries. Because most combine citizens believe in their society's innate superiority and see other governments as, uh, as a corrupting influence, they regard most other realms as enemies. Historically, the neighboring Federated Sons and Lyran Alliance have been the Combine's principal foes. The Combine has an infrequent contact with the Free Worlds League and Compelled Confederation, and it tends to regard both with contempt, if somewhat lesser enmity. The past several decades have exposed uh, distinct demarcation lines in the Combine, Concerning the status quo of seven centuries, uh, led by its current coordinator, Theodore Carita, our boy Theodore, uh, numerous reforms have been relaxed the so rigid social structure while fostering alliance with the other great houses. The underworld Yakuza have had a greater leeway uh, for their activities and growth. Many of these changes stem from the coordinator's efforts to rid his realm of the clans and retake the worlds they conquered. However, some combine nobles oppose these changes and seek to return to traditional ways. They have formed a secret society known as the Black Dragons and will stop nothing to reverse the Combine's course. House Korea has always been in charge. Uh, Drax are not read good. Missed that somehow. The inner sphere regarding compelling configuration with contempt. No way. <laughs> I actually learned something. I actually didn't know that uh, the Combine were illiterates. Huh, that's very interesting. Combines are illiterates. Okay, so let's see. Primary language, I'm going to just do it on paper pen here. So primary language is going to be Japanese. And uh, we can do Swedenese, Arabic, and English. I guess Swedenese is the Rasahog district. Uh, we have art, oral traditions, plus three. Oral, plus three. Um... Karate. <laughs> uh, the 80s. Um, plus two. Choose one. Staffs, archery, or throwing weapons. Plus two. I'll choose throwing weapons. I want ninja stars. If this is an 80s, 80s game, we are playing... Uh, we're going full ninja. We're going full gray pajama ninja. Mutant headcrab. Spent time reading. This is time not spent building battle mechs or putting boots on the ground. It depends. With your wealthy parents, it may have paid for a private tutor. My other character received education this way. This is very ironic. Japan, one of the most illiterate nations in the feudal era. Oh, interesting. Gray pajama space ninja. 
All right, we have uh, because we're from Dr because we're Draconis Combine, we have the Quirk Xenophobia, and we have Pain Resistance and Combat Sense cost one character point less. Oh, Pain Resist and Combat Sense minus one. Okay, Path Restrictions. Draconis Combine characters cannot enter the high school path. <laughs> <laughs> Child labor is legal in most parts of the Combine. If a character cannot qualify for any other Stage 2 or Stage 3 paths, he can go to Stage 4 and enter the workforce as a child. <laughs> Vibro Katana! Yo! Give me the Vibro Katana! I want the Vibro Katana and the, and the, and the Electric Shock sh Shuriken. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. All right. So now we got that out of the way. Let's move on to... Early childhood. Cleaning laser lenses builds character. It's also great for kids. <laughs> All right. Formative years are a vital to a child character's development. Many attributes and personality traits are dramatically affected at this stage. Um, and some paths even provide basic skills. Most important, the path chosen at this stage will have significant impact on what paths the character can follow later. Upon completion, the character is 10 years old. And then you proceed to late childhood. Regardless of life path, all character characters automatically receive three skill points divided as a player uh, choose among their affiliation's primary and secondary language skills. Characters also receive three skill points Towards English, all six points can go into English if the player resides. Also, all characters receive two skill points towards perception. Oh, okay. So then we'll get um, Japanese uh, plus two. And I'll take uh, Swedenese plus one. And then English uh, plus three. And then, oh yeah, plus two perception. Perception. Plus two. <clears throat> Clans absolutely loathe the idea of lambs for some reason. Kunai, katana, and a spider because we are honorable and we would never need to use an ejection system. Because yes, somehow a mech with an ejection system is widely sold and used. <laughs> they saw a crossover between mechs and aerospace as Desgra. Although for a brief time the Jade Falcons considered developing lambs, Martha Pride changed her mind. The baby mech warrior. Okay. So we have a couple options here. We have Backwoods. We have Blue Collar. We have, uh, since we're playing in 3025, I want to play in 3025 or 3015. We won't be using Clan War Orphan. We can be a farm boy. We can boy a farm boy like Luke. Uh, we have Fugitives. Oh, Free World's Affiliation Only. Okay. Farm. We have Nobility. We have Street. We have White Collar. And then we also, because we have this book, um, we have uh, Born Mercenary Brat. Let me, let me increase the size of this. Born Mercenary Brat is an additional early childhood path that we can take. So what do we think in chat? What do we think in... I think maybe... If I have to look at this, nobility, noble sounds cool. Um, uh, not backwoods. Maybe blue collar. Hella ninjas, ninjas posed as farmers. Uh oh yeah, uh get a bit of screen. Okay, backwoods. So raised in a country, back country. Uh, parents, basically, uh, uh, yeah, subsist on hunting and gathering, probably in the periphery, less prosperous and inferior world. Blue collar, so weapons factory, mining operation, hardworking parents. Um, farm, born and raised on a farm or a ranch. Um, or nobility, uh, living on a life of privilege, somewhat neglected physical development, favor more per, uh, cerebral pursuits. The street, the street, um, white collar, 
So like your um, Lyran Traders, Combine Businessman, High Res Apartments, uh, perhaps even a dropship plying the space lanes. Or Born Mercenary Brat. Many ninjas were also samurai. Okay, okay, okay. Do a poll. Do a poll. Okay, let's do a poll. We'll make a poll. Uh, start a poll. Uh, origin, early childhood. Early childhood. Okay. Uh, I think I like nobility. Noble. Or mercenary brat. Or we'll say farmer would be one. Um, and then we'll also do street. I'm fine with those. White collar or mercenary brat. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Let's see which one you guys want. Vote now. Vote now. Farmer. <laughs> Oh, God. Are we making Luke Skywalker? 50% farmer. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, Luke Skywalker, but he's Japanese. My life of being a rich noble ruined. Ruined by chats. I am a farmer. Oh, God. Such a noble slime. No. God damn it. <laughs> ah! All right, we're farm boys. Well, hey there, Commander. It's time to be a farmer. <laughs> Time to grow up on the farm. All right. I guess, <laughs> I guess we're a farmer. Um, Mr. Mark, hello. Welcome to chat. Welcome to chat, Mr. Ogata. Oh, well, majority rules. <laughs> Bruh, we're farmers. All right. Like trillions of others who supply food to thousands of human-occupied worlds, you were born and raised on a farm, a ranch, or other rural uh, food-producing enterprise. So we have strength, plus one. Uh, we have bod, plus one. And cha, minus one. I guess we're kind of hillbillies. Animal handling, plus two. I swear to God, if we become, if we become, yes, if our backs, if our whole character is, you were a farm boy, you live on a farm, you own a farm, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Choose one, piloting wield or riding. Ooh. How about piloting wield? We, uh, we, we pretended, uh, to drive a mech back in, uh. Back in, back in Z day, back in Z day. All right. So now comes the, yeah, I used to bullseye womp rats. I used to bullseye womp rats, uh, on my sky hopper back home. <laughs> All right. So it's time for the D12 roll. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Seven. You start to learn the family business. Administration. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Daddy teaches us a little bit of admin so we can support the farm. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Administration actually comes quite in handy in uh, in the mercenary life. In the mercenary life. Um, Because, you know, as a... I'm, I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not going to be controlling the mercenary company that's going to be you that's going to be the commander and so admin is not bad as a supporting character 
So let's move on. We can choose either Backwoods Farm or High School. Let's take a look at each. Or also we can use our fate and um, come up with a story reason why we go to, you know, some other, um, some other life path. I got my... <laughs> I got my degree in business admin from DeVry University, Tharcad branch. <laughs> business administration, let's go. I'm one of them book learning fellers. One of them book learning fellers. Reading that almanac and learning when, a, when the best time to, to plant that wheat is. <laughs> Any opinion on how the Black Baltic RPG compares to Mech Warrior Destiny? I have no idea. This is like the only a fir first couple of times I'm building a um, building a character. Okay, so what are our options here again? We can go to high school, the backwoods, or the farm. The backwoods. Your c character retreated into the wilderness, living off the land, and learned practical survival skills. What the heck? Okay. Uh, or farm. Your parents couldn't afford you sending off to school or the academy, so you stayed on the farm. Season after season, you saw your friends go off planet. While well, you worked your butt off in the fields, you plan to join them someday. Oh, except we can't go to school because we're from the Draconis Combine. <laughs> All right. Uh, or additional paths. Oh, I guess there's only, only born mercenary brat. Or we could spend a fate and choose something else. So we could be backwoods farm. We can't go to high school because we're from the Draconis Combine. Or we could perhaps learn a way to get into military school. We could join the military. This is going to become a farming sim. Oh, God. All right. Uh... Oh, my God. All right. All right. I'm going to trust you one more time, chat. I'm going to trust you with my life one more time, chat. We're going to start a poll here. It's going to be the backwoods. The backwoods or the farm. Or we can use fate and go to the military academy. Late childhood. One more chance to make it. Otherwise, we might be stuck on the farm for our, for our entire career. Never seeing the stars and always wondering what was you assholes. <laughs> oh God, it's you're making me a hick. Oh my God. <laughs> Japanese Luke Skywalker got into the academy. <laughs> It was, uh, it was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was 33% farm, uh, 43% backwards, 33% farm, 33% military academy. Make yourself an illiterate mathematical mechanical genius. <laughs> Here's my ideal. You stole a tank for a draw ride and the commander was impressed by your balls. So he sponsored you to go to, <laughs> he sponsored you to go to, uh, Military school. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to leave it. We're we'll going to let, let chat vote. This stage is a turbulent time for most young people as their bodies grow toward adulthood and their minds struggle to keep up. In some affiliations, early vocational training takes place at this stage, teaching advanced career skills to children who are still relatively young. Other affiliations 
leave these youths to their own devices. Some excel and fall between the cracks of society. Upon this stage, completion of the stage, the character is 16 years old. You fellers back off, because I got this here samurai sword, and I ain't afraid to cut you a new one. This is getting weird. Okay, we're ending the poll. Survey says, Military Academy. So I like the uh, I like the backstory here. You stole a tank joyride from a commander, and he was impressed by your balls. Anyone have any other ideas for what happens here for getting us into the military academy? Because this is quite unusual. We were working on the farm for a little bit, and then somehow we got picked to go to the military to the military school. Work that plus one admin skill. You and your buddy got stole a tank and got caught? Okay. Backstory. How about a mech? Buddy and I stole a mech and impressed someone <laughs> that seems improbable you stole an atlas an agri mech i took the agri mech for a joyride and ended up in military school all right we need a will minimum of three we have minus two charisma and plus one social cool plus one um traits promotion but only if next path is military enlistment or military academy academic military history cool military history plus two computers i can use the computer plus one leadership Ooh, neat plus two rifles plus one martial arts military Whoa, we, we know that cool, like, uh, we're, we're, we're multi-talented in the martial arts. We know both karate and the military form of close hand-to-hand -hand combat. You stole a Charger 1A1. Nobody noticed for days because nobody cared. <laughs> uh, uh, or, yeah, maybe, it, maybe it's probably, maybe it's an agri-mech. Or, I don't know, we'll, we'll think of something. Maybe it's a military mech, maybe it's agri mech. Probably maybe a military mech. Because then that's the only way uh, we get noticed, right? If we stole some, if we oh, stole Farmer Bob's agri mech from next door, then it's not gonna, not gonna impress nobody. I know Kung Fu, no, 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 no. The Capellans know Kung Fu. The Chikanis Kapai knows karate. <laughs> and they have a martial arts tournament every five years to determine the best, uh, the, the superior close combat skill. All right, military school events. Shall we roll? Shall we roll? It's McCabe or Derek. Hello, hello. All right, military school events. 2d6. Nine, that's good. The, the uh, higher rolls tend to be better, right? Extensive. <laughs> we went to ninja school. Extensive nighttime training. We somehow just get night vision. <laughs> and uh, we get stealth plus one. <laughs> oh, God. Farm boy that stole a charger and became a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> in before you join DST <laughs> you're in ninja training oh boy next path <gasps> okay we can go to the university we can go to police academy 
We can go to military directly into military enlistment. We can join the regular military academy. Or we can join Sun Jang Mech Warrior Academy. Uh. Or we can just drop out and become a ne'er do well. Do we have an opinion? Sun Jang? The elite prestigious Sun Jang Academy. Let's read the lore. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put it to a vote. It look, it's looking like Sun Jang Academy, but I'm pretty sure. Let's just be sure here. Let's make sure. Where next? Sun Jang. Mech Warrior Academy. Or we could go to... Uh, where else would be okay? I guess university if we wanted to like study mechs. Or we could go to... Or we could just drop out and see what happens. Maybe we uh... Maybe we do a uh... What's that guy? That wandering samurai guy? Uh... Oops. Oops. Uh, that so wandering samurai guy, uh, what's his face? That that famous dude that wrote the, wrote the Book of Five Rings. Um, uh, what's that guy? That guy that wrote the Book of Five Rings? Oh, vote now the votes. Yeah, yeah, the Ronin. Yeah, we just go straight Ronin and just run around as a Ronin and see see what uh what happen. Yeah, why does Japanland have a military academy named in Chinese? Well, I guess um the art of war is famous in both China and Japan, right? I think. Look up the extended lore for Sun Jiang Military Academy Battle Tech. Sun Jiang Academy consists of graduates from the first panel oh, of Sun Jiang Military Warrior Academy. The training continues as active duty as cadres. Students are valued in tours of duty that last nine months after which they graduate. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah, that's the guy. Usagi, Usagi Ojimbo. <laughs> I do like that, anim uh, that, that comic. The Space Curtains Coke Prosperity Series. Is this for a Kurita character? Yeah, this is for Otto Uchiyumi. This is for me. This is my true backstory. The true backstory of Otto Uchiyumi. Luke, Sp Luke Space Luke Skywalker becomes a ninja mech warrior. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to close the poll here. Looking like the funny number. Looking like a good old funny number for Sun Jang Mech Warrior Academy. We're going to the Academy. Sun Jang Mech Warrior Academy. <laughs> Draconis Combine affiliation only. Cannot have combat paralysis. Disabled. Lost limb. Poor hearing or poor vision traits. So this they don't take. They don't take the maimed in Sun Jang. The largest academy of its kind in the inner sphere, graduating more than 400 soldiers annually. The Sun Jang Mech Warrior Academy, Sisma, is feared and respected throughout the Jodokonis Combine and the rest of the successor states. Located on the world of New Samarkland, the Sisma trains battle mech, aerospace fighter, and armored infantry cadets. The academy is infamous for its harsh and brutal regimen. Its cadets are steeped in Bushido and instilled with intense loyalty to the House Kurita. Combined with exceptional resources and the finest teachers available, Sisma produces one of the most respected and privileged soldiers known in space. Great, now this is a cliche school anime. <laughs> uh, cliche school anime, yes, yes, yes. Oh, they can trade you as an arrow jock. Hmm. All right, attribute minimums. Intelligence, four. 
min of four uh will uh four and social plus and social four but our rfl goes up by one our will goes up by two wow I guess they really uh, impo like make you have a strong character over in Sun Jang. Social also goes up by another one. Um, traits brave. Traits brave. Uh, well equipped. Oh, that's nice. So we get some. Hopefully, we get some good equipment. Uh, quirk loyalty to House Karita. Loyalty. House Kurita. Skills. <laughs> Academic uh, Academy. Mill Science. Um, martial Arts plus two. So we get even better at, uh, at Martial Arts. And we study the blade. Yes. Yes. While you were off dating girls, I was studying the blade. <laughs> Your backwards cur cannot defeat me, the blue thunder. <laughs> now the question is, is it a high school anime or not? Uh, Sovix woke up, character creation, good to start the day. Hey, welcome, welcome. New Smarkland, huh? Yes, is this a... There's a joke about Karita and aerospace pilots, but I ain't touching it. An 80s military a uh, anime. <laughs> oh, God. Look at the two. Accused of sedition by the internal security force. You have no choice but to flee. All right. You kill a fellow student in an honor duel. Ugh. Maybe you got a high score on a simulator like the last Starfighter. Accused, we totally did it. <laughs> he used a small loan from his mili military family to buy a mech to help him get in. Drove it like he stole it. All right. Shall we determine our fate for Sun Jang Warrior Academy? Hopefully we don't get kicked out. Eight. We'll be fine. While training against a line regiment, you become comrades with one of the unit soldiers who is an ex-member of the Yakuza. <laughs> what? Oh, God. We're really becoming gangster ninjas, aren't we? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, let's write down the history here. Uh... Farm, it was like farm academics. Then we stole a mech to get to impress someone to get into mech school. Then in mech school, we befriended an ex Yakuza member. What the hell? All right. Uh, contact Streetwise Draconis Combine plus one Hillbilly Gangsta Ninja literal kind contacts for a ninja based. <laughs> okay, so you got taken in space by Kiryu Kazuma. <laughs> Uh, note the ghost regiments don't exist yet. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. We can still have a Yakuza, uh, Yakuza contact. A roguish folk hero for the Combine. A most interesting start to a career. All right. Uh, next path. Advanced individual training, uh, subpath. Man mandatory part of this pass. Advanced individual training subpath. Okay, here we go. Basic graduates only another two years, traits promotion. Oh, wait, we had a promotion before, right? Traits. 
Oh yes, yes. We had a we had a uh we had a promotion from the previous one. So we get another promotion. Uh from the from the military from graduating from the military uh high school. Okay. Tactics plus two any Oh, any. Okay. Two plus one to any three relevant skills, plus one to any field skill. Any relevant skills. What are the relevant skills? Three relevant skills. I guess we can just use that as a uh, as a wild card for now. Okay, so tactics slash any plus two, and then we have uh, any plus one, any plus one, any plus one, and then we also have any one field skills. You can go to Dest training. Join Dest. What is Dest? What the hell is Dest? Don't care. Take it now. All right. Choose one of the following fields subject to the listed restrictions. Mech Warrior. Minimum dex of four. Reflexes four. Aerospace Pilot or Armored Infantry. I think we're taking Mech Warrior since I do so many mech videos. It only makes sense that I do Mech Warrior. So... Um, my field is going to be, uh, Mech Warrior. And plus, it's any plus one, uh, must be field skill. Or what is this Dest theme? Super Space Commando Ninjos? I'm just waiting for us to finish auto and realize that somehow we're a deadly outsider mechs with our bare hands. Oh, God. Dest is the in Karitan Internal Security Force. All right. Next path can be Tour of Duty or Dest Training Subpath. Part of this pass if a character enters the Mech Warrior Armored Infantry field. With the possible exception of Li Hao's Death Commandos. The Draconis elite strike teams are the most feared and efficient special forces of the inner sphere. Candidates are spent, spent sent to the DEST Tactical Command Center on PESH for intense trainings and indoctrination. Isolated from the outside world, teams of five soldiers train together and graduate to form a new strike team. Three years of working together to give them unsurpassed efficiency. What? All right, uh, an Inquisitor in a Hamamoto Chi, Dest Mech Warrior. All right, well, all right, we'll let, we'll let, we'll let, we'll let chat decide here. Next path. So the options are, we do a tour of duty, so like any other normal Sun Jang warrior, uh, any other person does. I think it's like a nine-month training program that they go through. Or we can go down the elite uh, Dest uh, subpath where we become ninjas. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs>
basically becoming Darth Vader. Uh, but he can't really be a merc if he's in it for life. What's more dangerous than a rapid fox, a guy in pajamas with a sword? <laughs> Think along the signs of SEAL's buds training. Become sneaky while piloting a 100-ton robot. Dest Hillbelly's Mech Warrior Ninja Yakuza. Oh, God. It's 55% Dest. Okay. Let's read about Dest. Sarna. Dest. Draconis Elite Strike Teams are a Draconis Combine's Chief Special Forces Units. An elite corps of commandos trained in every branch of the military. From piloting a battle mech, they follow the tenets of the ancient ninja. <laughs> Dest commandos typically consist of Draconis Combine Mustard Soldier and Mech Wars, seconded to serve the direct action component of the internal security force. Like any individual wishing to join the Draconis Combine forces, Dest soldiers must have attended three academies and graduate from the top in the top 5% of each one. All desk personnel are trained as mech warriors, though not essentially mech pilots. Desk commandos frequently operate as infantry units or infiltrators. Go away, commercial. Oh, God. All right, let's go to ninja school. Time to go to ninja school. Whatever happens, don't forget your great PJs and don't forget your roots. Your farm boy is a smart one. A true country fried genius. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Let's go to ninja school. Um, <laughs> Attribute minimums. Oh, God. The minimums went up. We have to, we have to train our bodies hard. Body four. Reflex is five. Oh, my gosh. Uh, will six. Holy cow. Yo, you really are crazy. All right. And then they train your body a little more. Uh, they train your will a little more. And then your charisma goes down. Yo, we have zero. We're at like minus three charisma, dude. We have, uh, pain resistance. Okay. Um, promotion. Oh, we get another promotion. Nice, that's three promotions already. Well equipped two. Um in for life. In for life? That doesn't sound good. Quirk, loyalty to House Karita two. Uh okay. Tactics, infantry plus three. Um, plus one to two basic training skills. Okay. Uh, basic training plus one. Basic plus one. Plus two to half the character's AIT skills. Wow. Uh, half AIT skills plus two. Wow. Okay, so we just get crazy. Field is special forces. Next path, tour of duty or covert ops. <laughs> uh, oh my god, he's a desk commando masquerading as a mercenary commander. You could be a spy pretending to be a mercenary. You're extremely scary to the point of being... Uh, even in the most cordial conversations like a hostage situation. Who needs charisma? We can use the fact they were trained by the secret police commandos and intimidate them. What the hell? Let's be ninja. Covert ops. Covert ops. Covert ops. <laughs> okay, let's start a poll. Next path. At some point, we need to do some kind of mercenary stuff, but for now, I guess it's okay. Tour of duty. Or covert ops. Ask community. Ask <laughs> community. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. What's let's take a look at what the covert ops is. Your nation summons you to perform beyond the call of duty. You will earn significant rewards if you survive. Path ranges from sabotage to infiltration to assassination to fomenting rebellion. Alternate identity. Oh. And tour of duty. Tour of duty inner sphere. What are the next paths from covert ops? Oh, okay. So we can actually do both. We can actually do covert ops and tour of duty. Or we could just do Yakuza for some reason. What the heck? We could actually do both. I actually want to do both because because that seems that seems pretty cool. So we can do a covert ops run and then we can do a tour of duty run, and then I don't I, I, I don't know maybe, maybe 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 maybe. Okay okay. Oh it's fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty. Okay it's fifty fifty. I'll close the poll. I'll choose. I'll do both. So we'll do covert ops first because that can take us into um, tour of duty inner sphere. So we'll do covert ops. Good God, man. We're getting all these. Uh, time D6 plus one years. Okay, we have to roll a D6. This covert ops takes us five years. Oh my gosh. Uh, traits. We get another alternate identity. We have two fake IDs. Uh, wealth. Uh, Well-equipped. That's like the third or fourth well-equipped we get. Enemy. Enemy three. Wow. Wow, that's kind of crazy. In for life. We already had that one. Disguise. Oh, that's so many. Disguise. Plus two. Fast talk. Plus two. Perception. Plus two. Choose three. Acting, blades, computers, cryptography, demolitions, escape artists, forgery, gambling, interrogation, martial arts, any. Pistols, protocol, seduction. Ooh, ooh, seduction. Ooh, oh, you like, you, you like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to go back over to my place, commander? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Pistols, protocol, seduction, streetwise, Tactics infantry. Okay. I think it'd be funny if we got really good at ninja swords. So we're going to take blades. And we can choose three. So we can do acting, cryptography, demos, escape artists, forgery, gambling. And that's when the... the loot <laughs> Oh, God. Why the drool? <laughs> um, Shall we take seduction? Leadership. Martial arts. Okay, martial arts. Let's take martial arts, karate, plus two, and blades, plus two. And then the third one, uh, seduction with low charisma. <laughs> Your die roll plus, plus one. Okay, okay. Three. Uh, one, two, three. Computers. Oh, plus one. Cryptography. But seduction. But seduction. <laughs> okay. We'll do cryptography. Oh, for your duration, not for the skills. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are there even six? There's more than six. Okay. We'll just take seduction because that's amusing. Seduction plus three. We can bard it up. All right. And now... Escape artists can contribute escape i guess escape artist is you know i am a slime escape artist plus three is on is in character so we'll choose that one instead okay covert ops events oh jesus look at the number two captured and thrown in prison for treason all right hopefully we don't get that seven uneventful operations what? Okay. Uh, shall we reroll that? That is quite boring. I'm rerolling it. 
I'm re-rolling it. That's boring. That's boring. 11. You are instrumental in setting up a critical defection. Contact plus three, promotion two. Uh, and wealth. Contact three, wealth. Yes, a successful operation. We have seduced them. <laughs> We're a boring spec ops person. <laughs> we know blades, martial arts, and escape artist. You got a Lear in general to defect and take his scout lands with him. Okay, I like that. Convinced Lyran General to defect. <laughs> Space Ninja Houdini. All right. And let's move on to Tour of Duty. Tour of Duty Inner Sphere. From lofty mech warrior to common grunt, this path is where you put it all in the line. Combat and non combat military personnel alike must face the enemy on one or more tours of duty. Despite the dangers of this path, the character can earn substantial rewards, skill, and rank. Whoa! Super chat by Mutant Headcrab. We just had a lance drop side, uh, outside our compound, and I've got to politely convince them to leave at gunpoint. I'll catch you later. <laughs> All four atlases in the, in the scout lance went with them. You raise a full planetary ability in five years, which leads to the tour of duty where you start holding the territory from the enemy and leading strikes within the system. <laughs> All right. Traits. Ooh, we get vehicle two. For mech warrior. Right, because we do get a mech assigned to us. Aerospace pilot, aircraft pilot, and army infantry characters only. Add two skills to... Oh, add uh, military fields. Add plus two to any three skills from your military fields. Add plus one to any other skills. Plus two to any three skills... Military. Okay, and then add plus one to any two other skills. So plus one, plus one, any. Uh, okay, I like the I like the backstory. Convinced Lyran uh, Lyran general to defect. I think you're at promotion five now. Character is gonna wake up and realize his last name is Karita. What is your mech? A charger. I don't know what my mech is. I do. We do have the um. We do have the. Uh, uh, this is the rats assignment table. Um, it's a, it's a fan made one by, but made by a guy who makes, um, uh, used to write for Battletech, I, I, I think, um, if I remember correctly. Anyway, it has, um, these, um, percentage tables for all the, um, for all the mechs. And for 3025, the closest one is 3028. So we can look up once we're done. Uh, what mech we did this all in. But for now, we should go through this because we might get a mech upgrade. You were assigned the same 1A1 that you stole as a kid. <laughs> uh, yes, we are at promotion five. I, I have no idea what that means, but that, that's probably pretty high up, right? Okay. Shall we determine what happens on this tour of duty? <laughs> All right. So 2D uh, 2D6. We're going to roll it. Here we go. No whammies, no whammies. Eight. That's not bad. Ooh, we do some raids. Plus three to any three skills in one military field. Plus one to any other skill. Very nice. Plus, uh, we do raiding missions. Plus one, any three skills in military. Plus one, any mill. Plus one, any mill. And then, oh, hey, we kept all our limbs. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't lose any limbs. 
I think on my uh, on my test playthrough like a while back, I, I definitely lost some limbs and lost some eyeballs and stuff. Okay. So I think at this point we've. Oh wait, let's let's look at uh, well, let's look it up. We have to look at what in it for life means. In for life. Does this have a control F? Oh yeah, it does. Your character is a member of a large and secretive organization such as the Yakuza or some other organized crime group or government agency. Although membership in such group provides benefits, it is also said that you can never retire from them. You are in for life, even if you are no longer actively working for the organization. It can call on you for favors or even full-blown missions at any time. Clearly, this is crap your style at the worst possible times. It is up to the game master to decide when this trick comes into play, but he should not force the character to work constantly for the secret organization, especially since the other characters in the group will follow be drawn into the missions as well. I see. No, no, the Black Dragons are supposed to be bringing down the government, right? The Black Dragons are supposed to be bringing down the government. So so we're, we're actually working for Dest. So we're like an elite. Uh, we're basically a secret ninja. Where do we go next? TLDR, you can be a mercenary if you want, but they can call you back anytime. Exactly. Hey, Nom, what's going on? My Capellan character has in for life McCarran's Armored Cavalry. Oh, essentially that means you and Dest Taskmasters will always have a line on you. Yeah, yeah. So that we're basically, uh, if, if Dest needs us, we will, we will come. We will answer the call of Dest. There is this special, there is this special uh, character path. Um, we can have a tour of duty, um, as a mercenary if we want to. We can do this, um, instead, like, we can just basically muster out and say, like, hey, we had, we had enough of, um, we had enough of this tour of duty, we're gonna go, we're gonna go be a mercenary for a little while. Hey, creating a character, yep, yep, yep. You're a deniable asset. Oh, okay, okay. I wouldn't actually mind finding a group to play Battletech, TTRBG, but I wouldn't know where to find a group. This document looks fun to use, though. Maybe I'll look into it for my own campaign. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure kind of role, uh, role kind of thing. Our Merc group is also Karita's strongest asset. No one would believe they'd hire a Merc, but we're no ordinary mercenaries. Okay. Let's should we try for our next um for our next thing uh this this tour of duty mercenary maybe we leave uh maybe we leave the draconis military and we decide to go mercenary for a little bit and I did want to um for my uh for my mercenary company I actually wanted to have a group of uh a group of uh draconis combine mechs cuz I think that'd be I think that'd be fun to have a couple of drac mechs The Black Dragons are Takashi Karita loyalists that hates Theodore's reforms. Oh, I see, I see. I actually kind of like Theodore Karita as a as a person. I think he's a pretty cool guy. Chewing gravel three times a day is also part of desk training. Gotta sound grizzled. <laughs> a time of war. Yeah. Uh, this is actually classic BattleTech RPG. So this is the third edition. I do have a time of war, and I probably will translate this character into the Atal. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing. Um, for now, I'm just doing the three because it's more fun. Uh, in the Secession Wars, the Black Dragon Wars active. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna think I'm gonna start the campaign either at 3025 or 3014. Okay, let's do. I want to do this tour of duty as a mercenary. I think. Um, actually, let's let's put up to a vote. Let's put up to a vote. So we can start a poll. Uh, next path. We can do either uh, mercenary. We can do another tour of duty. Another tour of duty, so we can risk fighting again. Um, or we could do uh, we could do ne'er do well, which is like um, this is like on the streets and stuff. Hang on, did I miss a uh, did I miss the bit where there's a campaign starting? Uh, I'm gonna probably put this up this character up on our Discord once we finally make it. 
um, so that anyone can kind of download it and throw it in and use me as an NPC or whatever. Um, but, but, um, I will be making a mercenary company either this stream or next stream. I'm not sure, but we have this, um, we have this book called the mercenaries handbook. I'll show you while we're all voting, uh, 3055, um, where you can like build up a mercenary company and you can figure out what you want to do. I think the original mercenary company might be a little bit more fun to do. Um, but then there's also this FM Mercs where you can also build a mercenary force and then we can build the mechs out. We can pick the mechs that we want um, by randomly rolling on this table and that should be fun. Maybe we'll get something neat. Maybe we'll get something neat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Speaking of Discord, uh, Link. I don't have a link to the um, to Discord yet. Um, but I, cause I, I don't, I don't have, uh, the, the thing, but I'm going to build it out this probably next week. So we'll have a merc, uh, so we'll have a mercenary. We'll have a discord next week so that you guys can get, um, alerts and stuff. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think I'm gonna let anyone chat, but it'll be just good to, to just keep people informed and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing a mercenary bias on a mercenary YouTube channel where people come to get information in, from a mercenary slime about mercenary decisions. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, we'll give it a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Um, I'm thinking, how many how many mechs do you think uh, we should have to start out our journey? I'm thinking either, I'm thinking maybe 24 mechs. Maybe we'll do two companies. So maybe out of those 24, we'll do like eight Arcarita mechs. And then maybe we'll do the other uh, 16 mechs are going to be um, just like random ones that we buy on the mercenary market. And we'll simulate buying and creating a mercenary company. It's a big company. Yeah, it's it's two companies worth. But I think having a Draconis group would be kind of cool. Maybe um maybe they're uh ooh, maybe they're maybe they're um they're my secret uh they're they're my way to secretly um execute the will of the dragon or something like that. Or I was thinking if I dropped out, maybe I could um if something bad happened, maybe I could grab them from um What's that, uh, that Theodore Carita unit, Theodore Carita's unit, the, the rat one? It had like a, it has a rat as their sigil. Theodore Carita Battletech. That was like the kind of cool, it was kind of like a cool looking, uh, cool looking, cool sounding, um, cool sounding one, uh. I don't remember what it's called. It has a rat as a. It's basically where the the armpit of the dragon. It's where they send all the the bad people, like the people that don't integrate with society. Um, the mech warriors that don't integrate with the units and stuff, they send them all to that unit. And then Theodore Karita like uh, made it better. But I was thinking about maybe maybe I'll get some Ronin or something, and, and then we'll uh, run around being mercenaries. But since we're part of Dest, maybe they're maybe they're I don't know loyal Karita guys or something. I don't know. The name of your unit is the Honorable Third Party. Yeah, the Vega Le Legion of Vega. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking if it dropped out, it'd be like Legion of Vega. Uh, we could get some guys from Legion of Vega, but. Let's end the poll here. So we're going to try. Looks like people want to do mercenaries. Very cool. So we'll try out this um, this special mercenary path uh, from the Field Manual's Mercenaries book. It's kind of like, I guess, some of these older books have um, some of these additional paths. So in uh, real life, we become a mercenary. So we can do a tour of duty. It takes two years. And instead of a 2d12, we have more options here. We have a whole d20. So traits, vehicle 2 for mech warrior, air pilot, aircraft pilot, blah, blah, blah. Add plus 2 to any 3 skills from mercenary fields. Plus 2 any. Oops. Any uh, military. Plus 2 any mil. Plus 2 any mil. Uh, plus one negotiate, plus one scrounge. Um, so we need a d20, which I have here. 
Let's see which one shows up better. Uh, this one or this one. I think it's definitely the red one. Okay. Meat's expensive, does, doesn't keep. Join the vegan legion and get good, get, uh, get, eat good in space. Okay. D20. Oh. Found guilty of contract breach, you are subject to fines and a hiring ban. Negotiation minus two. Bad reputation. <laughs> Poverty. Po oh, no. <laughs> Poverty two. Enemy three. One D six years spent on this path. Two. Okay. <laughs> Four years. Well, such are the risks of secretly severing the dragon. Kareetan saying you breached a contract is classic. Sacked some for some middle. Some minor political gain, F. Bad reputation comes standard for a DC Merc office. Your bosses and desk called you at a bad time and made you kill your mercenary commander. Filthy mercenary should have been more honorable. Shameful display. <laughs> All right. From here, I think poverty, uh, we have enough wealth. So it it um, it undoes the, the poverty. It like balances it out. Um, but... We could go for another tour of duty as a mercenary. You want to want to go again? <laughs> Deep cover. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we go again? Yeah, you can spend a wealth and reroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do another tour of duty. I think I think I want to do another one. Another one. Another one. One small into the breach, friends. Here we go. Go big or go home, I guess. Huh. 11. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, we can get we can get sexy. Garrison duty leaves you with plenty of chances to cruise the local scene. Choose one, gambling, seduction, or streetwise. The smart money would be on streetwise, as that seems a lot better in terms of it would come in handy. However, 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 <laughs> seduction with no charisma alert. Seduction plus two, baby. We spend two whole years. We spend two entire years perfecting our ability to seduce. <laughs> Someone put the slide back in the jar before they ruined the cup. <laughs> uh. <laughs> vehicle 2. Okay. So, let's look up vehicle. Because now comes the, the neat part. I think vehicle two is like a medium mech. If your character has the owns vehicle treat, she or she cannot sell their vehicle during the creation for cash, blah, blah, blah. Character with a vehicle trait will be signed a vehicle at this point. Completing the rules for assigning vehicles appear in the vehicle description trait 88 of the trait section. Page 88. So I guess we did get a vehicle assigned to us um, at that point. Uh, at the point where we, uh, at the point where we got ve uh, we got the vehicle trait. So does that mean we have two vehicles? Because we have a mercenary vehicle and we have a uh, Sun Jang Dest vehicle.
This trait determines the battle mech or other vehicle assigned to the character. The more points trait Oh, the more points spent on this trait, the larger the vehicle assigned. To find the maximum allowable weight class, cross reference the points of vehicle trait with the vehicle type. So if we want, we can just take a light mech. But if we spend more points, we can go heavier. Two should be light, three medium, five heavy assault. I see. He owns two chargers. Okay, okay. So should we... We own two vehicles because we got one... Uh, we got one... We'll say we got two vehicles. Yeah, we'll say we got two vehicles. So one we got is a light. And the other one we can... Um, and the other one, which one do we want? Which one do we want to buy? Do we want to buy? I'll start a poll. Do we want a uh, second mech class? Um, we'll say it can be a light. Another light. We can go medium, which uh, Draconis Combine doesn't like. Or we could go heavy. Or <gasps> we can go assault. Which one do we want? We can roll. This is the table we'll roll on. I know it has the table here, but it's not as... Um, it probably has a table here, but it's not as... Uh, not as comprehensive. Okay. And I have my D1000. Vote now! Get a pair of locusts to use in your own mech bay. Use your own advice. Vote assault for a charger. <laughs> if you roll on a rat table, maybe spend well to go one row up or down. Ah, uh, possible, possible. But I kind of like the. I kind of like the. Uh, I kind of like the idea of just being stuck in a really bad mech and having to deal with it. Can't go wrong with the Shadowhawk after the glowing review you gave it. Read the side note. It may be important. Find the specific vehicle assignment. Roll in the table column. beginning on page 90 yeah yeah so it has it has the uh it has basically a rats table here but it's only a 2d12 rats table it doesn't have like the d1000 rats table that's more fun the 1a1 let's go <laughs> all right we'll wait a little bit more for the second mech votes and then we'll roll um We'll roll once for the light mech class and once for the uh, once for the heavy mech class. Oh my god, you can get an urban mech. <laughs> I'll give it a little bit. I'm going to turn on my little fan. I'll be right back. Let's end the poll. Boop. Survey says. Ooh, it was close. Heavy 40%, medium 37%. So we're having a light mech as our first mech, and then a heavy mech um, as our second mech. So we'll make the heavy mech the mercenary mech, and then we'll make the light mech like he just gets in. Like he just gets in and he gets assigned a light mech. So. I have a 
three D tens for the one hundred space for the uh, the one hundred space, the the ten space, and the uh, one space. But let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Let's just do one at a time. This is more dramatic that way. All right. So this is for this is for the light mech. This is the one hundreds place for the light mech. Seven. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can already see it's the seven. Uh, it doesn't matter what I roll here. Seven, one, uh, one. So seven, one, one. We were actually a panther pilot. So we have a panther mech. That's not bad. Panther, panther's pretty good. I actually quite like the panther. I did say in the, uh, in the, uh, in, in a previous video that I was a Jenner uh, pilot, but I guess we're retconning that, and I was a Panther pilot. So Panther 9R. Not a bad choice. Not a bad mech. The chubby little sniper, common sight. Yeah. I could see myself getting in a Panther. I could I could get with a Panther. Sure, certainly, certainly. <clears throat> like a Vindicator, but it's small and created. Maybe we just don't talk about what happened to the Jenner. <laughs> All right. And then for the second mech is going to be the heavy mech. Oop. So we'll do it again. This is for the 100s place. Two. Oh. <laughs> 256. We are a dragon. 1N. <laughs> Panther and a dragon. All right. That's very Caritan. A very Caritan roll. Completely unsurprising. Dragon and a Panther. Pure Carita. All right. So that is me. I think what I want to do now is I want to do you, Commander. I want to I wanna roll what, what happens to you. And since we have a good showing of people, I think now is a good time. Now is a good time um, as any. Oh, God. You can bot ride that bad <laughs> No. 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 Thank you, Maya the Doe, for that clip, by the way. All right. So now that we've done that, the next stream we're going to do is going to be we're going to roll. We're going to use these mercenary handbooks to determine um, who exactly is in our mercenary company. But I have to think a little bit about that. But what I want to do now is I want to go back and I want to roll the mercenary commander. OK, so this is you guys. This is the mercenary commander and his origins. Um, and how he became a mercenary and everything, everything, yeah, everything, uh, his, his backstory, like who we're serving basically when we're addressing, um, when we're addressing the, uh, mercenary commander. So the first thing we need to do is, sorry, I could not miss the joke. Okay. I will let you guys pick the affiliation. Since we already did Draconis Combine, we're not going to do Draconis Combine. Um, I thought about forcing the Federated Sons, House Davion, since we are called the Somerset. Um, uh, like, we have a Somerset in our name. That's what the S stands for. Um, but we could also do Federated Sons. We could do Kaus the Capelican Federation. We could do Free Worlds League. We could do the Lyran Alliance. Or we could do the Periphery. We can't do the Free Ross Ra Republic because they're not a thing yet. But we could do the periphery, and then in the periphery, there's the Magistry or the Outwards Alliance. I think I saw the Tarn Concordant here, too. Ah, oh, the Tarn Concordant isn't a thing. We could do the Magistry or the Outwards Alliance. Oh, the Tarn Concordant, yeah. So, let's start a poll. Um, commander, this is for the Commander now. And he can be either... Uh, what I say? Davion. All right. Uh, Fed Sons. He can be Lyran. 
He could be um he could be Marek. Uh that's the free world's league. Team Purple Bird. Um or he could be Capellan. Or Oh, okay, wait. Uh actually, you know, we already did an Asian culture. Let's not be Capellan. So then let's say periphery. Um second vote. So if we get the periphery, if the periphery wins, then we'll say like, okay, is he target concordant? Is he magistrate of Canopus? Is he um, outwards alliance? So Fed Suns Lyrian for Woods League, or one of the periphery states, and we'll pick that as the next choice. We'll put that up. Frank B, I had to take the dog out. What kind of mech did we end up rolling? We ended up rolling a panther and a dragon for our auto Uchiyumi. Very, very, uh, very, uh, very Karitan. Vote now, vote now. Can you provide the links where all the docs can be bought? Oh yeah, sure. Um uh okay, uh how do I do that? I have to I'd have to pin it and then if I pinned it, it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to um Bill, I wouldn't be able to make these votes. So I'll put that up after at the end of the stream, okay? Comment pin. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I will um I will put that in um where. But it's basically drive through RPG um is where I got this one. And then the other ones I got, um, this one is from Sarna. And then the other ones I bought are from Catalyst, the Catalyst website proper. Yeah. Vote now. Vote now. Tell me where you want to go. Where, where you want to be. All right. Ending the poll in 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, a five, four, a three, a two, one. Survey says periphery. Okay. I guess we're going to periphery. So, within the periphery, we need to decide where we're from. Tarn Concordant, Magic Canopus, Outwards Alliance, or Minor Realm, or Independent World. So let's make another vote. Q and A. Which oh start a poll. Which periphery state do we want to be from? How do I spell periphery? How do I spell periphery? P E R I P H E R Y. Which periphery state are we from? Tarin. Tarin Concordant. Magistry of Canopus. Uh, Magistry. Or Outwards Alliance. Um, or Minor Realm. Or let's say Deep. The Deep Periphery. From the Deep. Vote now. Vote now. <laughs> Space Backwoods Commander, here we come. He's a straight hillbilly from the Tarn Concordant. Also, of love those orange gloves. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, we upgraded. They were the uh, the dirty little blue ones. But now they're disposable orange ones. They're on brand. Is this the RPG that transfers over to Classic Tabletop, or is that the BT Destiny RPG? I think this one also transfers over. And then it's also useful if you play um, a campaign, 
because then you'll have the actual uh, you have the actual stats for me to like repair your mech and stuff. So I'll, I'll probably go in the back since I have the, all the notes, and then I'll flesh out Auto Uchiumi and I'll put them on uh, put them on our Discord, and it will be part of like our Discord launch. So that'll be kind of cool. Do you have the periphery field manual? I, I do not. Canopian Commander Shepard. <laughs> what clan? Clan Meth Weasel. Oh, it's close. Oh, it is close. It is quite close, Commander. All right, we're going to give it another if no one's if uh if everyone has not if no if people have not voted yet, please vote because it is quite close in terms of where our commander will be from. My vote is for sexy Amazon mech warriors. Looks like Canopus wins your commander said I can't say that. I can't say that zero. What is the name of the pleasure planet? It's quite close. It's it's uh it's up there, man. Sexy bunny girl Canopian. <laughs> okay, we'll give it we'll give it another one minute to determine for all time where our commander is from. The Fresh Prince of Magistry Metals and Manufacturing. She's in charge and she knows it. <laughs> On one hand, Notarian Commander. On the other hand, Possible Cat Girl Commander. <laughs> All right. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. This one was a close one. Almost got Tarn Concordant, almost got Deep Periphery, but we are from the Magistry of Canopus. The Magistry of Canopus is the second largest periphery nation, known primarily in the inner sphere as a vacation spot. Built around the tourist industry, the Magistry caters to any whim. Majesty citizens tend to be free spirits, deserving the reputation for being fair, open-minded, and accepting of most people. This widespread attitude has contributed to the Majesty's commendable record of human rights and other social issues. In terms of technology and education, Majesty physicians can match some of the best in the inner sphere. The Majesty has recently strengthened its ties to some of the inner sphere powers. Uh, that's kind of like clan invasion stuff. All right. So we have primary language of English. We have secondary Greek, Romanian, and Urdu. Edge plus one. Wow, that's crazy. That's like the rarest thing ever. Edge. All right, we have Streetwise. Periphery. Plus one. And we can choose one. Fast Talk, First Aid, or Seduction. Or Seduction. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. First Aid. All right, I, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities to put seduction. Uh, first, aid, plus one. Okay. Traits. As officer ranks in the Clodopus military are purchased, characters with a commissioned trait may not have their rank trait. What? Officer ranks in the Clodopus military are purchased. Characters with a commission trait may not have their rank trait at a higher level than their wealth trait. Whoa. Bonus traits. Sigma. Hedonistic. Path restrictions. Military services mat mandatory in the ma magistry. Wow, I didn't know that. Characters must choose military academy or military enlistment in stage three. Crazy. Wow. So, Canopus must purchase their commissions, and it can't be higher than their wealth. So, if you don't have enough money, you can't go past. And military service is mandatory in the magistry. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's move on to early childhood. 
Um, we also don't forget we have this um, we have this special one from the mercenary book. Um, additional path mercenary brat. So we can be uh, we can be come from a mercenary family that um, like runs around basically. Um, what's a good one? We already did backwoods. We already did a farm one. So I think we already did a farm one. We could do nobility. We could do street. Uh, I think military street or mercenary brat might be cool. Yeah. Engage with our audience. Start a poll. Early childhood. Let's see. Mercenary brat. Um, we could go noble. We could go street. What's another cool one? Let's see. A street background. Um, do I like any of the other ones? No. So there's going to be that. Viva La Space Vegas. Let's do a civilian start. It's funnier. <laughs> White collar. Commander is an heir to an adult entertainment company. The streets of Canopus are a wild place to grow up. That'd be kind of crazy. Canopian heir is it heir to a bookstore empire. <laughs> All right, let me write this down. Of Canopus. Early childhood. Oh, uh, white collar might be um, uh, white collar might be okay, but I feel like mercenary brat and nobility and street would be more interesting. I think the street background in Magist uh in Canopus is our background is Cyberpunk twenty uh twenty seventy seven. Air in the streets, Mark. In the sh <laughs> yeah, God. Oh my God, <laughs> sheets in the street. <laughs> Where shall we go? It would be cool to do an ex-military merc and take the Battle Baltic version of Trauma Team from Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I was actually playing a bunch of Cyberpunk 2077 a, a couple of months ago, a month or two ago, but it was pretty it was pretty neat. I enjoyed it as a game. Wow, this is another close one, dude. This is another close one. Another close one. Another close one. Uh, Merc in the air doesn't sound repeatable either. Street slime. No, 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 no. This is you, Commander. This is you. This is you. Oh, wow. We have a tie. Okay, we have a... We're, we're, we have a... Okay, it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. Wow, the, you guys have... This is This is a really close vote. This is a really close vote here. We will give it another, another, uh, one minute. Another one minute for you to determine the fate of the commander. Kukin's Pleasure Pit is canon. A Cyberpunk 2077 style trauma team would be a bunch of special ops forces operating in a Star League mash truck. <laughs> Fifty C bills, and I'll do whatever you want for an hour. <laughs> uh, if you want to do cyberpunk stuff, going Merc Brett would be more appropriate. Mm -mm -mm. Possible, possible. Wow, it's all tied up. Mercenary Brett and Street with forty votes. With forty votes, we will count it down. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the pull. And by a 2% margin, it is Mercenary Brat. So we get to use the D20 this time. Very cool. Born Mercenary Brat. Akin to the Army Brat. Born to a career, career military family and bounced from base to base throughout his or her use. The mer born Mercenary lives much of his life traveling with a family that only knows warfare for profit. Bereft of national identity and always near the firing lines. So we have a social minimum of three. We have career soldier plus two. Academic military history. Plus one. Language any. Plus one. We have perception. Plus one. Got to keep your wits about you. And scrounge. Plus one. Next path, Adolescent Warfare. What the heck is that? Oh my god, two family killed before your eyes. Oh my god. All right. So we have 20 different events that can happen here. 20 different events that can happen here. We will roll the d20 to decide our fate. The roll the d20... Uh-oh. It's a nine. It's looking a little low here. Spent more time on dropships than in class round, classrooms ground side. Zero G operations. Plus two. Baud minus one. Lose academic language and language skills picked on this path. You didn't go to school, Commander. You didn't go to school. You spent more time in dropships. You learned how to bounce around outside in space rather than study them books. You went to space. <laughs> All right, next. We can go to, I don't know what Adolescent Warfare is. I don't think I have it in this book. It must be something else. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think adolescent warfare is an option for us. Wait, let's see. Uh, is it a, okay. It is a level two. So it has to be in level two. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, late childhood, right? Um, clan apprenticeship, freeborn Sabiko, high school, military school, mercenary brats, preparatory school, street, higher education. I see. Oh, we actually get. Wait, what? Oh, we messed this up. Oh, I see. We were born a mercenary brat. Okay. 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 This is fine. So this is actually a stage one early childhood thing, instead of the uh, instead of the uh, instead of the uh, instead of the Magistry of Canopus run. I see. So this actually can't happen, but we can take the mercenary path later in life. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what can we do here to retcon? I guess we can go with the next thing. Which was Street Life. Redo. Okay. We'll do... I think I think in this case we'll go with Street. And maybe we can work in some of this... Uh, work in some of this Mercenary thing. So... Wait, there's a two Mercenary Brat. What's happening here? Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll have a street upbringing, and then we'll also just go into Mercenary Brat right away. 
We'll grow up on the streets. We'll have like a street plus mercenary brat thing, and we'll just kind of bend the rules a little bit. I think that sounds uh, that sounds good. So we're like born on the street, and then in the Magister Canopus, and then maybe we spend like a bunch of time on the ground or whatever uh, in the Magister Canopus, and so we get like kind of that that dual um, that dual upbringing. So we'll do street first, and then we'll do mercenary brats. How, how about that? Born as a street urchin and then got pickpocketing uh, a merc on shore leave. I mean, we could do, yeah, something like that. Something something like that. I don't know how I'll write it, but yeah. All right, so let's do street in that case. Um, so we'll cross this out, and then we'll do edge. Wow, we got another edge. Jesus. Plus one. Social minus one. Cont uh, traits contact. We have a bad rep. And we have an enemy. Um, we get fast talk. We get pistols. Plus one. Wow, you get to use a pistol as a kid. Uh, scrounge. Plus one. And streetwise. Plus two. So we run, roll this 2d6 here for the street events. Nine, adopted by a wealthy family. That's really good as the Magistry of Canopus, actually. Social plus one, wealth plus uh, wealth two. So maybe, in, if that's the case, that's really good for the Magistry of Canopus because their wealth is linked to how far they can go in the military. And because we're adopted by a wealthy family... Um, we can kind of rise high up in station. So what if they're mercenaries? What happens if, um, what if we don't, we won't do these skills, but we'll just do this mercenary brat events. So our, um, our, we grew up on the streets and then we're adopted. Uh, we're adopted by rich mercenaries, like rich, successful mercenaries. I like that. We need an heir that knows his way around a pistol for Thanksgiving. How about this? You're adopted by a commander of a large mercenary company. Yeah, I like that. So we're like a street kid. Uh, like basically a street kid that grew up on the streets of the magistry. And then we're adopted by mercenaries. All right. So if that's the case, then let's roll again for this uh, mercenary brat. Uh, oh my god. We can lose a limb. Okay, um, let's roll again for this mercenary brat background. The commander is Lily Jonah from Jormagond. Uh, the merc we pickpocketed was the captain of the Gypsy Trail. Yeah, I like, I like getting adopted by mercenaries. All right, let's see what happens as a mercenary brat. It's a five. That doesn't sound good. Uh, just had to get on trouble on outreach. Uh, we get we gain an enemy. Uh, we get in trouble. We get streetwise. Chaos march. And we cannot enter the military academy. Merc name, Nip and Tuck LLC. Adopted dad is Hairbrain Schemes protagonist. Your enemy is Wayne Waco. I'm pretty sure the Canopus military is composed by a large amount of mercenary forces. Really? That would make sense. If that was the case. Let's look at the Magistry of Canopus. I've never actually looked at uh, Magistry of Canopus uh, lore. Canopus. The Magistry of Canopus Military. Politics, government, citizenship, military. The Magistry Armed Forces have traditionally seen as something of a necessary evil by the largely peaceful Magistry. Four million men and women are active duty. Uh, with a small number of troops frequently online. Oh, and mercenaries supplement them in battle. So, yeah. So it would make sense that 
we uh, that the mercenary that uh, that picked us up is part of like is is under the employ of the Magistry Armed Forces. Every good merc needs a nemesis. Sign begins downloading information. Professor Oak asks what your rival's name is. Yeah. So okay, so we we um we make an enemy on the street on the street uh as a merc and they bar us from entering the military academy which is a required as a um which really which really puts a, a wrench in our plans right because as a as someone from the magistrate of Canopus, we have to enter some kind of military Military service is mandatory, so ca uh, characters must choose military academy or military enlistment. So we made an enemy, a powerful enemy, who barred us from military uh, from entering the academy. So we have to just enlist. We have no choice. No academy. The grunt work. Time for enlistment. But you can't go to the academy. Yep. Which means your commander is not a mech warrior. Straight to enlistment because it's mandatory. True. So I don't know what's going to happen here. I have no idea what's going to happen here. We're going to have to find a way to become the mercenary commander. Hey, I still got a pistol. Let's go. <laughs> All right. In this age of perpetual war, the military will take just about anyone into its ranks. However, without the money or connections to get into an academy, you must work your way up from the bottom. So we have this really cool, like, rich mercenary, successful mercenary guy. But for whatever reason, our rival, maybe it's our parents' rival, um, they're blocking us from getting to the academy. So we have to get into military enlistment. This explains why we need all the mechs explained to us. Um, so we have will three, we have strength, uh, plus one reflexes plus one bod plus one will plus one and cha minus one, uh, traits. We get a promotion. We get swimming plus two. And then we get basic training as a field. And then we need the advanced individual training subpath as a mandatory part. But first, we're going to roll on this. Now, since we have edge as the Magistrate of Canopus, we have two points of edge, okay? And I like the story so far, but if something happens where it's like kind of crazy and something insane happens, we can edge roll out of it, and we, meaning we, we just re-roll. Honestly, a commander that uh, doesn't micromanage lets me do my own job, I'd work for them. This is sounding more and more like a cyberpunk start. I love it. Stomp commander Stompy McShooty face. Oh, hey, it's the Wiggly Mech Commander. Hey, how's it going? I'm the I'm just the military advisor. You're the commander, and we're deciding your backstory now. Your backstory right now. Wait, what time period is this? Uh, this is probably 3020. Uh, probably the 3020s or 3015 or 3010. I kind of want to be there for the Merrick Civil War. I think the Merrick Civil War is um, is pretty cool. Yeah, but we have we're running two edge, so we have two re rolls at any time that you want. But let's roll this military investment vent. Two d six. It's a six. Aptitude tests place your training focus on support services. You're a dummy, Commander. <laughs> You, you will never be a mech warrior. Your aptitude is with rifles. And comms. You're a cook, commander. Uh, let's see here. AIT, Advanced Individual... AIT. So what is this? Um, add three to basic training skills. Fields, choose one of the following skills. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
They took away our rifle and gave us a comm unit. Oh, God. The commander also runs the mess hall. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, where do you want to... Uh... All right, let's start a poll here. Um... AIT. You could be a basic technician. You could be a infantry officer. Oh wait, no you can't cuz you're uh you're backline. You could be a police officer or ship's crew or or we could fade it uh edge to become mech warrior Oh, look, we can... Okay, if we if we use Edge, uh, we can go back into the Military Academy path, maybe. Officer material. Supplier of special items on the base. So we could just do so well that we... That it doesn't matter that we go out. Uh, it doesn't matter that we got blocked. We just go into the Military, military Academy anyway. Otherwise, we are, uh, I guess we're, uh, I guess we're on support services. No glory for us. Basic technician. Edge mech warrior. <laughs> they tried to fend us the kitchen. We forged our academy papers and... The police with tanks. Riot control is a fire starter. Having a mech tech for your commander would be funny. Always trying to cut as many quarters fixing the mechs to make the payments. <laughs> Cavalry, if I'm not mistaken, is a tank commander. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Those can be... Uh, you've, you could have put pilot on the pole. Those can be second line. Really? Pilot can be second... I guess, I guess you could be like a, like a aircraft like supply resupply pilot or something. It only, the poll only gives me four, though. We will wait for the votes. The votes. 45 viewing, 16 votes. Transport fly or fly dropships. Very true, very true. I guess I, I guess I missed that. Commander also flies the dropship. <laughs> Okay, we will end the poll here. Boop. Looking like... The commander does everything but actually direct the mechs or make calls on that. One of my characters cross-trained as a dropship pilot. Sometimes he flies it for the company. Ah, okay. You can be a cav and a pilot at a coolant truck. Nobody pilots those and the mech hooked up is, uh, is shooting. <laughs> All right, so we're using Edge to go to the military, back to the uh, military academy. So if we're going to regular military academy, where is it? Where is it? Military enlistment, military academy. Okay. So we are using our edge. So we're going down to one reroll left. Um, and we're going to the military academy. So we get some buffs to our body. RFL goes up to two. 
Body goes up to two. Will goes up two. Social goes up two. Plus one. We get another promotion. Very cool. Promotion. Um, well equipped. We get academic, military, history, plus two, leadership, plus one, uh, protocol, the magistry of Canopus, um, plus two, and swimming, plus two. Don't roll a three. <laughs> we say the commander was an exchange student to the Free Worlds League. How about that? I think there's probably a um, there's probably a magistrate of Canopus uh, Military Academy. I'm assuming, right? Because all their all their um, all their guys go to either the military academy or the military uh, services. So we just kind of retconned it where we made an enemy, but then there was some kind of thing where we um, where we either forged our papers or we did so well in school that they said, yo, you know, actually just go to the military academy. We're dumb. So, let's roll it. 2d6. 9. That's pretty good. Uh, the commander forged their CO signatures on a letter of wreck. <laughs> Not the first time I've ever something. All right. 9. Military events. Qualified for cross-training program. May take a second AIT immediately after finishing the first AIT. Okay. So we have a promotion, another one, three, leadership plus one. Um, add three to three basic training skills and one to any other skill. Basic, any plus one. And then just any plus one. And then our fields, obviously I think it, it has to be mech warrior, right? If you're the commander. Has to be the Mech Warrior as the AIT. Um, but what should the second one be? Tech Mech Warrior and Aerojock to become a Lamb Warrior. <laughs> I don't think I want lambs in my game. We'll say... Armored Infantry aren't a thing yet in 3025, so we can go uh, second uh, path. We can say, I think... Um, we can say, ooh, dropship pilot might be cool. Maybe our parents are so rich they own a dropship. Cavalry. Uh, we can do dropship. We could do infantry. If we're into, like, combined arm stuff. Uh, do we want to do scientists? That's weird. Um... Ship's crew? I guess that's the same thing as dropship pilot. Uh, let's put something weird. Scientist. Scientist. Okay. Let's do cavalry, dropship pilot, infantry, and scientist as our second AIT. So we're already a mech warrior, but we could do you know, some combined arms or something like that. Go ahead and take a vote. Take a vote. I like the idea of being cross-trained in some uh, in some personal combat. Helps keep the company in line and win negotiations in strange situations. Hmm. We're taking we're the, we were joking that the commander also flies the dropship. That's where they learned it. Maybe yeah, perhaps, perhaps. So I'm gonna put the minimums here. Um, if we're a mech warrior, we need a minimum dex of three. And we need a uh, minimum reflex is a four. All right. We got 26 votes in the pipe. Never been seen or used the scientist path before. Yeah, I don't. I think I've never, I've never done that.
Oh, wow. We can go to special training next. Okay, I'm going to end the poll. Dropship Pilot is 37. So we have Dropship Pilot as our second AIT. That might be actually useful if our if our uh, if our uh, family ends up owning a dropship. All right. Oh, don't forget to take OCS. Oh yeah, we have to go to OCS. How do we get to OCS? Via event role only. Uh oh. Uh oh. We can only enter it if we are, uh, if we through entering it via event role. Military Academy. Oh, after finishing or OCS, no more than two AITs can be taken. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, we should have taken OCS. Do we need to go again? Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So, uh, I'll just I'll just drop the last one. We'll just do second path. Uh, is it going to be dropship? Dropship pilot, cavalry, uh, infantry, or is it going to be OCS? Officer training school. All right, we'll put that as the actual poll. Okay. We'll vote on this. Sorry. If you still want dropship pilot or cavalry infantry, go ahead and vote for it. But uh, but OCS, I think we definitely need to put as an option if we want to, if we want that leadership path. I think we can still be, a, I think it still makes sense for a mercenary commander uh, to, to, um, be, uh, to be a mercenary commander, even if he didn't go to OCS. But, you know, um, if we want to, if we want to. But we could also just have dropship pilot training and end up being a mercenary commander. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, we can do mech warrior plus OCS or mech warrior plus dropship pilot or mech warrior plus um, cavalry or mech warrior plus infantry. No, nobody said we were a qualified commander. <laughs> do we need more than mech warrior and dropship? Um... Yeah, so we can either choose like basically like mech war and dropship training or mech war or an OCS. So we can be like a, you know, we can come out as like a lance commander or something like that. Yeah, dropping proficiency is totally fine if you guys want that. Don't need no fancy school to lead, man. Might help if we know how to command things a little. Yeah, it might help. Uh, I think having the leadership skills you get from OCS helps with forming a mercenary unit. True, true, true. All right, we'll give it a couple, we'll give it another minute to see uh, where, which mercenary, uh, wh which path we go on. It's probably looking like 50% off OCS, but we'll give it another 30 seconds just to see. Nah, son, you don't need no OCS. Just have confidence. Let's see. Oh, we get a commission if we go OCS. Nice. Okay. 
All right, we will end the poll. So it looks like instead of dropship pilot, we want to go to uh, most people want to go to OCS. There is nothing more dangerous on the battlefield than an officer with a compass. <laughs> we get uh, charisma plus one, so that negates our minus one. Very cool. We get a commission. Rank one. Nice. Um, and then we come back here, and then we get Mech Warrior Special Training. So special training, subpath special training. Um, add plus three to one threshold of a player's choice. We get leadership plus one, which will help us as a uh, as a as a leader of a lance. We get three basic training skills plus one, any plus one plus one, and then we also get half of the AIT plus one to half AIT. Uh, the the advanced training skills skills half AIT skills, and then we get. Oh, we get a promotion and wealth. Nice. Uh, and we get well-equipped. Fields. Um, wait, what? AIT subpath special training. I think this is it, right? Choose one of the following fields subject to the listed restrictions. Doctor, jump ship pilot, military scientist, special forces, mech warrior. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. And then now we go to a tour of duty, right? Then then we're done with that. We go to tour of duty. Uh, we come back out into special training. Go, And then we can have the covert ops option, but tour of duty is next. Is it the time of war or old mech war RPG? This is the old mech war RPG. This is the third version. I felt this was more fun to do since you kind of roll, uh, roll stuff up. But now we come down and see what happens here. In the tour of duty. I'm ex-cab, so I'm biased. <laughs> Grace and Carlisle never went to no OCS, and he's still a legend. Give this man a Phoenix Hawk. I rode with Black Horse, David Drake. I wish I was well equipped. <laughs> Tira Duty, Inner Sphere, time two years, vehicle for Mech Warrior. Add three skills from your military fields. Uh, add plus two, uh, sorry, uh, TOD. Tier of Duty, any. Military fields, plus two, plus two, and plus two, and add plus one to any two other skills. Now, we have vehicle two for Mech Warrior, which we know is a light, but, um, but I know we can buy it later with traits, so we can start a poll here and see what class of mech do we want. And we will say light. Medium. Heavy. Or assault. I don't know how we'll get an assault. But we'll give it as an option. You can vote for what type of mech we will be assigned for our tour of duty. And there is, I believe, in the... Oh, there's a Magistry of Canopus table. Nice. So we will determine what class of mech we have. Go ahead and vote. I'll be right back. Let's get us a baby Atlas Orion.
Wow, I'm surprised not a lot of you are voting for assault. Marauders are ideal. Well, the magistrate has an awesome as part of the table. Designed to test new tech discovered from the Starly Cache. Cater class communication booster systems. During a field deployment, our comms were overloaded with ancient Terran dirge known as Caramel, Caramel Danson. Medium is also always a good choice for a starter mech. Doesn't cost many points. Has enough armor to last through a battle or two. A lot of good commander mechs in the medium mech category. Yep, absolutely. Wolverine. You have the Phoenix Hawk. I think that's about it. <laughs> oh, it's pretty close. Pretty close one, too, if we want a medium or a heavy. We will give it another minute. I'll count down. 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and pull. Boop, boop, boop. Medium or heavies makes most sense uh, so that you have the most some versatility. Yeah, true. I do think medium or heavy is probably the way to go. Um, even though certain medium mechs don't have the command mech quirk, um, medium mechs are like the workhorses, so you get a lot of stories with them, right? And then with heavy mechs, you're a little heavier. Uh, you're a little, you know, uh, you have a little bit more protection and stuff. So, looks like we rolled medium mech by a small margin. So close. Yep. So let's roll our D1000. Now, for our D1000, this is going to be the 100s. This, uh, this green D10 is going to be one of the 100s. Sorry, you can't see it very well, but... This one's going to be the hundreds place. This one's going to be the tens place. And then this last one's going to be the ones place. Okay. And we're rolling on the magistrate table. We would love the Wolverine. Yeah, we kind of do want the Wolverine here. Here we go. And the roll. 897. <laughs> you have a Canopian Trebuchet 5N. <laughs> the Trebuchet. The Trebuchet is an artillery mech. With three medium lasers and two LRM-15s. And not a lot of armor. <laughs> I better than a dervish. LRM's on the docket. All right. So we have a LRM. Um, we have an LRM commander, which isn't bad. We can get with it. Oddly enough, the tre trebuchet has a 5-8 movement, which was kind of I, I found kind of weird. I haven't ma quite mastered the trebuchet. But I guess we're going to have to learn how to use the trebuchet in our battles. <laughs> You're the commander. You should be in the back. <laughs> okay. The position of honor, the rear, makes sense for an officer. Stand back. Let your team have the, handle the heavy lift. I guess so. I guess that makes sense. True, true, true. Uh, I would prefer an archer, though. An archer would be ideal. Five eight cutting heavy is kind of hilarious. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Five eight trebuchet. We can get with it. Trebuchet five n. Not a bad roll. Not a bad roll. Now, shall we see what happens during your first tour of duty? Wasn't expecting a trebuchet. I was not either. But I guess we're a trebuchet commander. All right, let's see what happens on our tour of duty. Seven. Uneventful garrison duty. Uh, Boring. Let's re-roll it. <laughs> 2d6. Huh. Five. You make an enemy of your superior officer. Enemy, too. Wow, we are um making a whole lot of enemies. Every time. Hoping for drama. Maybe one of the best roles you can have. 
I mean, you're in the magistry. Not a huge amount happens. <laughs> your CO is your dad. He hit us first. That's why guard duty was a good role. We got bored and decided to annoy our CO. Enemy. Dad. <laughs> All right. What do we want to do? Ne'er do well. Do we want to go for another tour of duty? Or do we want to drop out and join the mercenaries? We can go for a mercenary. Uh, we can go for a mercenary tour of duty. We'll go again. Uh, let's put it to a vote here. Start a poll. Uh, next path. I think we maybe. You're not the. Bu You're not my. Oh, I guess you are my dad. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Tour another. Tour of duty. Let's read ne'er do well because ne'er do well is kind of interesting. Oh, not yakuza. Ne'er do well. The catch-all exists for characters who don't fit in. You may be a criminal or simply unemployed. Whatever the case, you work outside the bounds of society. Because of the specific possibilities are virtually endless, this class gives characters to considerable latitude to advance uh, to the advances they can make. So another tour of duty. Uh, ne'er do well. So we drop out and become a ne'er do well. Or we can become, we can just leave and become a merc. Ask your community. We did make an enemy, but we decided to screw it out. Yeah, we made an enemy as we were getting into the academy, and we got made an enemy as we, uh, as we, uh, inside. We, we just, we're just a rebel. I guess you're a rebel, Commander. Vote, vote, vote. It's time to vote. If we do ne'er do well, we can always become a mercenary uh, later. Um, we can we can do both. You make a lot of enemies in Space Vegas. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't say that. Don't be sussy, Bill Nye. <laughs> I see that. I see what you wrote. <laughs> oh, Bill. We'll give it a little bit longer. But it's looking like we're dropping out one way or another. Thank God you thank God you got a trebuchet. At least you didn't get the assassin. Oh my god, look at all the bad mechs. Okay, we could have gotten a Vulcan, which is not bad. We could have turned it into a 5T. Cicada would be real bad. Assassin also, I agree, would be real bad. Clint, I would not want that. All these low mechs I don't want. Whitworth, trebuchet. Wait, oh, do we have a variant? Do we have the variant trebuchet? No, no, we have the standard trebuchet with three medium lasers and two LRM-15s. Okay. I thought maybe we got the, uh, I think there's an SRM variant somewhere. All right, we're going to end the poll here. All right, it's looking like we go to the mercenary path. But, you know, I'm thinking I want to overrule that. I'm thinking I want to overrule that because I think we've never done ne'er do well before. Um, and we can always come back to the tour of duty mercenary. So let's do both. I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of thinking that we do both. I want to see what happens in this ne'er do well path. Um, and then we'll go to the mercenary pass. So maybe we spend some time, I don't know, doing something. We'll, uh, we'll roll this 2d12 and see what happens. All right. 
We're doing the ne'er do well path. I'm overruling it. We're doing ne'er do well, and then right after that, unless something crazy happens, we're gonna do the mercenary path because I, I kind of want to do the mercenary path. All right, so time is gonna be one d six years, three years. You gotta pick the thing that's most interesting. Um, we're gonna get another edge, so that's another reroll if we want, or we can kind of hold that for later. We get streetwise any. Plus two. Um, and add any two skills. Uh, any two skills. And then we choose one. Appraisal, Brawling, Gambling, Seduction, Escape Artist, Blades, Quick Draw, or Stealth. I'm thinking we take Appraisal. Actually, let's, let's wait off. Let's hold off. Let's roll our 2d6 first and see what happens during this ne'er-do-well event. And then we can choose... Uh, we can choose what skill would be most applicable. Seduction is a must on Canopus. We could take Seduction. All right. 2d6. Here we go. Six. Convicted of a minor crime. <laughs> Player determines whether the character is actually guilty. Add, any add two years... To the time this path takes. Yo, you did your dime, Commander. You done done your dime. You did your nickel. You done did your nickel. <laughs> uh, so you went to prison, Commander. Uh, <laughs> Streetwise, any plus one. So you get plus three. Um... Let's say appraisal plus one. So you went to the can for a uh, yeah. You went to the can for two, two to five years, uh, and we'll say, or were you guilty or not guilty? It's, the vote is out. The vote is out to the... Uh, <laughs> the vote is out to the jury. It is up to the jury to determine guilty or not guilty. <laughs> As we move on to the mercenary life. We get convicted of a crime. And he gets to be a mech warrior. What a sick joke. Once a street rat, always a street rat. <laughs> Are you learning seduction in prison? No. No, we can't take that anymore. We're not taking seduction anymore. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> we pled IDK lol. Illegal street racing in the modified Charger 1A1. Seduction. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Ending the poll. Oh god, prison seduction, please. No, no, we're not taking that, please. Uh, poll complete. We are guilty of the crime. Any ideas chats on what the crime was? Attempted escape of the Canopian breeding grounds. <laughs> oh, no. Judge said jail or mech warrior. My defense, he burned my patch. <laughs> God. Never tell anyone what it was. <laughs> All right. So... After we get out of jail, we pick up our trebuchet, and then we get three skills to any mech war, any military fields, plus two, any two, and then we get negotiate, 
plus one, scrounge, plus one. Now we do our tour of duty as a mercenary. The trebuchet must have all the graffiti. Seduction of a police officer. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Um, rolling, D20, tour of duty. D20, here we go. It is a nine. You and a lancemate had a disagreement while on leave, and he's still holding a grudge. Enemy. <laughs> oh, God. I saw your other YouTube vids. Yo, we have three enemies. We made an enemy as we were, as we were on outreach. We made an enemy in the... Mer in... Um... In the military, we went to prison, and then we made an enemy in our mercenary company. <laughs> it's just like the worst. Level one or level three enemy. I think it's a level one enemy. He's just a lance mate. But we made like a level two enemy in the military. And we made another enemy like before. I guess we know why they hired this slime. All right, shall we do another... Uh, Shall we do another TOD? Quick, seduce your way out of it. You're not a human. Maybe you won't hate me. All right, let's do another. T let's do another tour of duty. Second TOD. Failed to seduce the lance mate. All right, here we go. Second roll. F oh no! It's another low one. Ah. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot, and here are your walking papers. Negotiation minus two. Bad reputation. Poverty. <laughs> Enemy two. Add one D6 years to your on this life on this path. Six years. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We spent eight years as a mercenary making two enemies, having a bad reputation, and bad negotiation skills. Yeah, we're a bit hopeless here. Please tell me this is going to be canon. This is going to be canon. This is canonized. It's like fought. Yeah, we have like a lot. We have, uh, no, we have four. It's not bad. bad. We have another four enemies. All right. So that's our first uh, tour of duty. Shall we? Uh. Next path. Shall we do another T another another mercenary or uh, another mercenary run of another two years or proceed to building Merc Company? Ask. Sure, let's dig the hole even deep. One more roll. Do we want another roll again, or do we want to proceed to building a mer our mercenary company? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Oh, good God. Bro, we broke. We need the seed money. <laughs> we need more enemies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Commander, I see why you hired me. It's only four rolls up. Sleeves. Rolls up sleeve. It's only four. <laughs> Roll up sleeves. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, Jesus. B 
because you had no better options. <laughs> All right, we'll give it another 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and pull. All right. So we're doing another tour of duty. Okay, so this is our third tour of duty. And that gives us another roll. It gives us another roll. Another tour. Let's see if we can get another enemy. How about that? Ten. Oh my god. Offered a job on another outfit. If you choose to sign on, take wealth, promotion, and stigma unreliable. Otherwise, quirk, reliable, promotion, and negotiation plus two. I guess that's probably when, that's probably a good place to stop. Offered a job in another outfit. So you're offered a job at Slime Company. And we take it. I guess, well, I guess we could start it two ways. I could see... I could see us taking a job at Slime Company, or we just start our own thing. So, uh, offered a job. Uh, do we take job, take a new job, and this will be taking the new job at Slime Company, or do we start our own thing? Look, if you take, if you turn the job down, uh, if you turn the job down, you give yourself a promotion. <laughs> this character has been anything but our. <laughs> we have to be our own boss because nobody else will hire us. Let's just be reliable for once. Please! <laughs> We've made the bed. Now we will sleep in it. We are self. We are. We are self-made men here. <laughs> Offered new job. Finishing up the character sheet is gonna be a mess. This bed is made of serpent coin. Screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> All right, we'll give it another minute. And then we can pick where we want to start our mercenary company because that's important. <laughs> okay. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and pull. That explains all the enemies. The Kapodopians don't like good. All right, so we're starting our own mercenary company. We're taking Quirk, uh, Reliable, uh, Promotion, we're giving ourselves a promotion, and Negotiation, plus two. And that is our Mercenary Company, uh, our Mercenary Commander. So... Now we proceed to figuring out where we want to start our mercenary company. And I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what rule set I'm going to use for that. But I do know that there are starting zones you can start in. Uh, start like where you decide to recruit people. I think it's in... FM Mercs, it might be. Battletech RPG, FM Mercs, yeah. Um, it's in here. Creating a mercenary force, because there's a bunch of ways to do it. Create a leader. We have to finish out the sheet, which I'll finish out next time for next time. 
there's um, these commander generation tables. Commander origins. Um, but here we go. So here are the... Um, here are the hiring halls we can start in. Oh, look. More recruitment tables. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's going to be for next time. But... This is 30... 30... 14, let's say. 30, 14. So, some of this stuff isn't... Uh, some of this stuff isn't... Um, applicable. Let's look these up really quick. Port. Kieran. I know Galatia. Herodotus in the periphery. Herodotus. Any ideas of where we might want to start? Any any votes for uh like where we want to when we want to go? Any suggestions? Enemy dad, enemy Thomas Merrick, enemy other Thomas Merrick, enemy sackpole, enemy the dice. We need to be in the periphery. We have some dudes after us. Northwind Outreach. We're already on Outreach. We made an uh, we made an enemy on Outreach as a kid. Yeah, we made an enemy as an Outreach as a kid that basically uh, prevented us from getting into the Magistrate of Canopus Academy. All right, let's start a poll here. We only have four options. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing some periphery options. I'm seeing Northwind or Outreach. I think if I had to choose. If we had to choose, maybe I would not choose Outreach because that's so, like, that's very, um, cliche. Starting Hiring Hall. I'm seeing, but we can add uh, Northwind as an option. That's the home of the Northwind Highlanders. Uh, Solaris, I do like Solaris. Solaris 7, we can go to the Gladiatory Arenas. Uh, we can go to... I think a periphery option would be good. Bill Nye, do you have uh do you have a um do you have a preference for Port Kirin, Antalos, or uh Estrovsky? I don't know what that is. Detroit. Solaris would be the preferred place for Canopus Reject to start. Possible, possible, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll definitely add Solaris as an option. Um That's a good list. Superus or Herodotus. All right, let's add Herodotus as a as an option, and then I don't think no. I don't. I don't know if Northwind would be a place that we would actually go though. Would we really be welcome here if we have so many enemies? Okay, let's do Northwind, Solaris 7, Herodotus, and Ark Royal. Ugh. Um, no Purple Bird option. Yeah. Um, Periphery Hiring Hall. All right, I have no idea what Astro Kazaki is, but let's put it in there. Astro Kaz Kazaki, and we can read the wiki of that. What that is? Ask your community. Where would you like to start? I'm seeing a lot of votes for Solaris. Oh my god. Guess we're going to Solaris to do some 
glad crying some gladiators. A Canopian stuck on Solaris. It's just like, oh. <laughs> Imagine the setting of Aladdin as a planet. What? Oh, okay. L located on the Rimworld commonality of the Free Worlds League. So it's kind of like uh, the Free Worlds League. Interesting. The far edge of the Free Worlds League space. Solaris would be good because you get all kind of crazy people in your mechs. <laughs> all right. This is a very important vote, folks. Where we are starting. And then... We will build out our mercenary company next time. Deflated bagpipe noises. Looks like the black wise will not rise anew. Now nah, let them do that themselves. Come, someone competent needs to. <laughs> someone competent needs to be there to lead the black watch. I do concede that is rational. In before the company commander with a drunken flat. Has a drunken fling with Duncan Fisher. And that's how the company was founded. <laughs> it's in the periphery, so it's like the MOC. Which RPG is this exactly? This is the Battletech Classic. Uh, Battletech Classic. The uh, third edition, also known as third edition. And we're using a couple other supplements here. You're assuming competence in 3020. Uh, uh, this is not ATAL. Yeah, Atau is uh Atau doesn't have the rolly thing, which I I really like the rolly thing. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we'll give it another 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. It is Solaris. Solaris 7 is where we are. Uh, the RPG used to call be Mech War 3. Yes, correct. Just going to die in character creation. We are in Solaris 7. Wow, what are these tables? Once this trailer is chosen, a hiring hall gathered the core members and its registered force as a legitimate business. Oh. So then you hire, you, then you come out with like your, your core group and then you, uh, and then you, and then you start recruiting people. Wow. So there's more roles and stuff. Combat experience table, force identification. <laughs> Recruit level. <laughs> We could just get green guys dispossessed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What supplements am I using? I'm using the Battletech Classic RPG. I'm using uh, Field Manual Mercs. I don't know if I'm going to use this 30, 20, 30, 55 one. I might just be playing with these two because these look more interesting to me. And then, oh, and then we're using uh, this free supplement for our Mercs called the Rats Table. You can get that on Sarna. Let's go to just chatting a little bit. Let's go to just chatting a little bit. Let's chit-chat about what happened. Boop. Get a bunch of dispossessed green recruits and buy them all herbies. <laughs> uh, uh. What's the table from Sarna? Um, it's the rats table. So just check the rat, like Google uh, search rats table on Sarna. It should come up. And that will let you randomize some mechs, and that's what I use for the availability tables, by the way. Just the dispossessed just whine about having no mechs and cry, blah blah blah. Mercenary supplemental two, page ninety four, has the oh, rules for Highland Halls in each era. Oh, interesting. I think I'll stick with this one. I don't want to buy another book, but good to know. 
Slime Force 1 is at hand. Yeah, we're going to build Slime Company. Uh, slime Company proper. We hire a guy wearing a cardboard box with mech scrolls on the front. Also, no real experience leading anything or any real understanding. So intro the slime. Actually, we were uh, we did go to OCS, right? We've got pretty conclusive reason why all the informational videos are being made in universe. <laughs> Absolutely a win. Uh. That lack of rolling makes it much better. I think uh, the rat stable is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. The rat stable is pretty nice. I do like rolling for character creation. I think it's more uh, more makes for a more interesting and entertaining stream. Yeah, yeah. Love me some group backstory. We got promoted way above our competence. Uh, we made so many enemies. We got to figure out what that is. What's about that, that? What that's about? But then even next time when we, uh, I think I'm gonna we're gonna continue the adventure next week where we'll make our mercenary company. I just have to read up the rules and see what they're like, and then we can uh, randomize our mechs, and then we can randomize our pilots, and we can see who's in our mercenary company, what we have. We already have maybe three mechs, but I want to make a few more. We're right on with our competence, forging papers, outrunning the consequences of our actions. This was fun. Yeah, I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I didn't know. I had an idea of kind of what I wanted to happen, but uh, the dice and letting you guys vote was really fun. So I think maybe I'll probably try and incorporate more uh, more dice rolls and more, uh, more community action. That was kind of neat. Also, absolute rat man of a merc. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Yeah, it's just enemies everywhere. We put our arms in our future catapult because... Uh, we put arms on our future catapult because we got used to it with the Trevi. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe we get like an archer or a catapult would be pretty neat too. It was fun, guys. Do it again sometime, Slime. Yeah, we're going to do it again. If you want to hang out tomorrow and paint up some mechs with me, uh, I'll be here early afternoon tomorrow. Uh, we can do that. And then next week, we're going to have a continuation. We're going to actually build out our mercenary company and recruit mercenaries from Solaris. And then uh, assign pilots and everything. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Alrighty, Mr. Commander. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'll see you next time, okay? Slime you later. I will slime you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you next week. Bye bye. Discord coming soon.